OK, looks like another radical one. Ah, but on this one, again, does this look like another definition of a derivative? Yeah, this one kind of looks like this one. f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. Now this one's a little bit different because this isn't the derivative of a function. This is the evaluating the derivative of a function at a point. So we're not going to be getting a function like we did on that one. We're going to be getting actually a value because you're actually finding the exact you're actually finding the exact um, exact uh, you're actually finding the exact slope of the tangent line at this point. But first of all, let's figure out what our function is. So f of x is equal to yeah, 2x. Let's just do x to the 1 half power. Keep it kind of simple, right? So if I was going to do f prime of x, I'm going to bring down the 1 half and subtract. So that's going to be basically going to do 1 over the square root of x. You guys follow or you want me to show some work? Bring down the 1 half. 2 times 1 half is 1. Subtract 1 from 1 half is negative 1 half. Since it's negative, it goes in the denominator. x to the 1 half in the denominator is the square root of x. Yes? No? It's OK. Yes? Should there be a 2 in front of the square root of x? Two in front? No, because yeah, I'm just going to show my work. So when I do f prime, I have 2, bring down the 1 half, and then I get x to the negative 1 half. So that obviously goes to 1. And therefore, I'm just left with 1 over x to the, or x to the 1 half power, which equals 1 over the square root of x. Does that make sense? OK. So now, but again, guys, we're not trying to find, again, this de definite derivative is find, trying to find the value of the function at a given point. What point is it trying to find the derivative of? 9. So. This is really just finding 1 over the square root of 9, which is just 1 third. Boom, done.